we're going to take a look at the Wilcom Hatch program. This is a nice little program and it has some really neat features. It also has different levels that you can purchase. So those of you who have Hatch, you may know some of these things already, but as we kind of move along, we're going to, you know, move into different areas of the program. The first video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite features in the Hatch program, and that's the ability to uh, manage my designs which I can come right over here and if you look you should see a manage designs tab and when you click on it it brings you back to a catalog the default position here is their built-in folder with the included designs in the program and you can see there's you know a lot of designs that are included so for those of you who are not sure that you want to digitize and maybe you just want to stitch out some designs and you're new to embroidery and you want to try some things out this is a great place to start so here is you know I'm just gonna pick one of the design files okay now this design right here is going to be you know displayed over here once you select it okay and it says it's an EMB file which means that it is in the Wilcom hatch format and if you have a machine such as a Janome or an Elna or a Baby Lock, you're not going to be able to stitch this. So you need to convert this. Well, once you have, you know, left clicked on this and selected it and you're seeing the design information over here to your right, then you can convert this file. You can convert it to whatever format you want or you can open it. So let's start with opening it. If I go ahead and double click on it, what's going to happen is it's going to open up into the program interface and you can see you know it's showing your design size and you can come up here and select your machine and you can select your hoop right you can also transfer this you can transfer this to your machine if you're connected um, depending on your machine interface and how it handles that so that's kind of the quick way to do this now because it's an EMB file I can also resize this. So if you take a look, you know, in our design right here, we have 6,028 stitches, right? And when I left click on this, if I go to move this, the whole design moves, right? So I'm going to go ahead and stretch this out a little bit. And, you know, now I have, you know, this larger design. Of course, I'd have to pick, you know, a bigger hoop as well, right? Which I can do. I can just come up here and grab a different hoop. But there's my design. Once I left click off to the side and come up here and say, well, you know, really I need a bigger hoop. And, you know, then I can left click and center that if I want. Now, because it's an EMB format design, once I scaled it, my design stitch count also adjusts. So the EMB format designs that are included, included in the program are scalable. Okay, so that's way number one to, you know, move that into the design program. And then, of course, I can go to File at the top of the program menu and to export the design. If I save the design or save as, then it's going to save it in the EMB format. If I want to send it to a machine format, I have to export the design. So I'm going to go ahead and export this design. And I can select where this design is saved to. I can save it to a small USB thumb drive to connect to my machine, or I can save it in any of the folders or locations on my hard drive. And I'm going to go ahead and cancel because I really don't need to save this design. I want to show you another way to convert this. Okay, so remember, if you want to resize an EMB format design, you can. When you want to send it to your machine format, you go to File and then Export. And when you want to select your format, of course, you just click on the Save as Type. And you can see there are all of the formats that you're able to export or save this design in. All right, so let's go ahead and cancel that. Now I'm going to go back over to Manage Designs. So here we are, we're back at Manage Designs. If I want to convert this design file without opening it up into the main program interface or if I want to convert this design file into multiple formats because I have different machines, then I have another option. Once the design is selected, 
I can come over to Convert Selected Designs. And when I click on that option, a dialog box opens that allows me to select the location or the folder where I want to place this. So I'm going to go ahead and browse and just go ahead and select this PC for this one and into um, Documents. Then from there, you know, all of my folders open up here. So I have all of these folders, and if you have a USB drive, you can do the same thing. And we'll go ahead and um, I'm just going to go ahead and put them there so I know where they're at and say OK. Now, what I can do is, if I want to convert this, because I have a Janome machine and a Brother machine, I can say, I need the Jeff format. And I also need the PEZ format. Or, as you can see, there are a lot of different options. You know, if you have a commercial machine, of course, there's the EXP and DST. You know, even some of the older machines are listed here, like the Singer Poem and Husky Graham, right? And there, of course, is the older Singer formats and the older FOF formats. So you have a lot of options here, depending on which machines or which formats you need. So once I convert this, these are going to be um, converted and placed in this folder that I selected. I could select all of these formats at once if I wanted to, which is kind of a, a nice feature. It's like a batch type of conversion. So there we go. I converted those files. It says my conversion is complete. Now I could select multiple files to do this. So if you are someone who is creating designs or you are someone who has multiple machines, you could left click on one file hold your shift key and come over here and left click on the last file. So there's a first file I want to convert and there's a last file I want to convert and I can convert the selected designs and it's going to default to the last folder that I saved in and the formats that I selected. So I'm going to leave those two formats selected and say convert. And depending on how much memory and how much space you have on your computer, you know, these are going to convert all at one time. Let's go take a look at that folder. So here's my PC and there's my documents folder. And depending on how many folders you have, you know, it might take you on. Here's the folder I saved them in. You know, and it's thinking for a bit because I have a lot in this folder. So there's all of my folders and, you know, and, and you're thinking, ah, you know, boy, what, you know, I just want to see the files I converted, right? I have lots of files up here. So, you know, if you want to just take a look at your embroidery files, just say all embroidery files. And you can see, you know, I have a lot of files in this folder, but here are the ones that we converted. And, you know, there's two because this is going to be Pez and this is going to be Jeff, J-E-F. So, you know, if you just want to see one type of file, then you can come up here to showing and just select the JEF format. Or, you know, come down, keep scrolling down, and just select the PES format. But as you can see, you can quickly convert files into multiple formats just using the Manage Design section.